The more I learned about MS, the more I was interested in the early stages of the disease. In 2006, we generated the first French cohort of individuals who presented incidental T2 lesions suggestive of MS without any other possible diagnosis. So after the first paper from Darren Okuda in neurology, uh, we gathered all the cases and we created the RIS consortium. We worked on how we can provide biomarker to detect people who could be at risk to develop the clinical disease. We proposed two independent therapeutic clinical studies, which was named ARISE in the United States and TERIS in Europe and Turkey. Today, we don't have any healthcare resources or any active treatment for primary progressive MS. So, one very important work which was published by Orun Kontarchi from Mayo Clinic Rochester for our group was to demonstrate that some RIS individuals were able to develop primary progressive MS and as the symptoms started, it will mirrors the evolution of primary progressive disease. It's very important because it's a key message that if treating RIS people who are at risk to develop MS, who are at risk to specifically develop primary progressive MS, it would be the first time that we were able to prevent a progressive disease. The thing we described about RIS can occur during childhood. So this is very important to be aware of this. The consortium work has tried to convince the neurological community that RIS is already MS. First by describing the first expression of the presymptomatic phase of MS and then detailing how it overlaps in many ways with MS. Last year, we were approached by the McDonald Criteria Group to discuss about including radiologically isolated syndrome in the next revision of the MS Criteria, which will be presented by Xavier Montalban at the Extremes 2024. The effective treatment of individuals with RIS who are at risk of MS could be our sole opportunity to prevent the occurrence of the clinical course. The international court was built uh, on the collaboration with many other countries. All these works are really an international effort and we hope that many other countries will join us uh, to improve the knowledge about RIS and now maybe, luckily, uh, asymptomatic MS. I love coming to the extremes and being asked to talk about radiologically isolated syndrome at the Confavre lecture who influence uh, every young French resident in describing some aspect of MS. Now the circle is complete. <laughs>